Hi, I'm Alex Scove, and this is Orange Line. Now that homecoming week is over, Kelsey Epperson took a look at last week's events. A week full of festivities was a success during Baker's Hoedown Modown themed homecoming. Last week's activities kicked off Tuesday with the BU Olympics. A hard-fought battle of the Greeks resulted in a tie between Delta 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 and Kappa Sigma and Alpha Chi Omega and Zeta Chi. Wednesday, students competed in the Knowledge Bowl, emceed by Baker's own Ira Despain. The duo team of Phi Mu and Sigma Phi Epsilon brought home the gold. Thursday, teams performed in skit night, resulting with a win from Alpha Chi Omega and the Zeta Chi team. Baker students congregated to Collins Gym Friday evening for the annual homecoming pep rally, and all Greek houses hung banners as part of the week's competition to be judged. Alpha Chi Omega and Zeta Chi were the winners of the banner competition, and the Delta 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 and Kappa Sigma team were announced as winners of the canned food community service competition. As part of Saturday's halftime homecoming presentation, five new members were inducted into the Baker Athletic Hall of Fame. These new inductees were Dan Harris, Clarence Hawk, David Johnson, Charlotte Lewis Piper, and Jerry Steele. And then, a stadium full of fans saw the much-anticipated homecoming coordination. Senior Alicia King, representing Zeta Tau Alpha, and sophomore John Babb, representing Student Senate, were crowned the homecoming queen and king. Other candidates were Stephanie Brockman, Daitu DeSasa, Kendra Hansen, Amanda Walmeyer, Josh Morgan, Zach Rocky, Adam Tebbin, and Jeff Skillman. The overall homecoming champions, Alpha Chi Omega and Zeta Chi, were announced and presented a homecoming trophy. The Baker Wildcat football team capped off the week with a 45-0 victory over Culver Stockton University, and students finished the hoedown mowdown by celebrating at the annual dance at the salt mine. This has been Kelsey Epperson, KMBU-TV. Thanks, Kelsey. Do you think you've been seeing double? Mary Loveland has. She recently did a story on twins in the Baker campus. The increase of freshman enrollment this year has brought with it three new sets of twins with three very different stories. Gage and Spencer Bristow would never have gone to different colleges. We're Siamese. We're definitely, we're definitely not Siamese, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty close. Probably my best friend. Both Gage and Spencer are members of the Delta Tau Delta fraternity and came to Baker to play sports. I play baseball. I, uh, I got signed for football but decided I don't want to play, so I'm just chilling, enjoying myself. Outside of Baker life, the Bristos enjoy the same perks of being twins. We can have two girlfriends, they don't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> but there is a difference. One twin is still older than the other. Do I look like the older twin? He's got like two more whiskers than I do. <laughs> Sam and Josh Fawson are a set of twins with identical characteristics but just as many differences. I've always been a little taller and like a little more attractive and stuff. That's how people always tell the difference. <laughs> Sam and Josh both came to Baker to play sports. Josh came for baseball and Sam came for a different reason. I chose it just because I, I was going to go to KU just to go to school, but then I chose Baker because I really wanted to play football. Just like other twins, the Bostons have their own special connection. What makes it really good sometimes is like, say like I can't get a hold of him on his phone, I can just like send him a message through my brain, and so he'll get it that way. Ryan and Brian Dorsey are twins that seem to have an even stronger connection, despite their opposite personalities. Well, we uh, had to be rushed into the emergency room, and uh, they put me on an anesthesia, and I went down to sleep. And at that moment, Brian went to sleep also. And once the, the surgery was done, uh, they couldn't wake Brian up until I came out of surgery. And so once I woke up, he woke up at the same time. This wasn't the only occurrence. Brian has his own story of a twin connection. He, we were on opposite sides of the classroom, and it was an English assignment. We had to write a paragraph. And I'm not joking this. We uh, end up writing the same word, same exact words throughout the whole paragraph, and then the teacher accuses us of cheating. With three sets of twins on campus, there are three different types of relationships. This is Mary Loveland for KNBU TV. Great story, Mary. Rich and compelling. Up next, 
We've got what's bugging us at Baker, but right now, we've got to pay some bills.